Hello YouTube. This is Alan with Collecting Maddox. I'm gonna go over some friend mail today. So the first one I got that I'm gonna go off, I knew what was coming. Um, this is Alan over at Boston Fan, and you can find his name here, and I'll put his name in the description and in title and all that other fun stuff. But he had a pickup video and he was like, well, I got this. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I was like, well, if you're not going to keep it, just let me know. I'll buy it from you. He's like, I'm just sending it to you. So it was really, really cool. He's a fellow Alan. Has the same confusion probably that I have. Everybody's spelling his name wrong. And I'm okay with that. It's one of those fun, fun little quirks about being an Alan. Everybody's going to spell your name wrong. No matter which way you spell it, everybody's going to spell it the wrong way. Uh, he spells it A-L-L-O-N. I spell mine A-L-L-E-N. I believe his is the Hebrew way for oak. And then mine is the old English way of a surname and should not actually be used as a first name. So for people to get mine wrong, I'm fully okay with that because I spell it the wrong way. Mine should be A-L-E-N. But that's what my mom did. And that's the burden I bear, which isn't really that big of a burden. It's more of just a fun little thing and just enjoyment of life, of like trying to figure out, you know, fun little quirks. But anyways, what did he send? He did not send these three cards, but I just figured I'd show these three because I get to add to this set, which I absolutely love. My team set for this. This is, um, and I'll bring it up here. It is the Mark Lemke. So really, really cool. Absolutely amazing. Did not have to do that. I I just reached out to him in the comments be like, hey, whenever you want to sell that, I'll buy it. I know it's... I know it's Mark Lemke, so it's not... I mean, I'm probably one of the few people looking for it, but I remember him and Fred McGriff very, very well. Making that... Uh, I think Fred. it was like Fred McGriff's best friend on um on the Braves when he first came and he photo like Lemke would always photobomb a lot of uh Fred McGriff's cards so it was pretty great and it was like I have some great Fred McGriff cards that have that are that purely should be a Mark Lemke card but anyways um if you have not checked out uh Boston fan Alan over at Boston fan you definitely should it's got a great channel. Um, probably not as big and heavy into the TTM as what he used to be, but he was absolutely like top, top notch for quite a while. And but I, I just don't think he, I don't know if he's been just not filming as many. But I see him like getting stuff to send out TTM. I just don't think he's as manic about it posting it as like what I am. So I'm gonna put that there. Uh, but yeah, just, uh, is working through Sandy Koufax, uh, running right now. And yeah, I, I, I really like the commitment to staying focused on like just specific cards. I'm trying to do that with Maddox cards and holy cow, is it tough? There's so much stuff that's like popping up. I'm like, Ooh, that looks cool. I'm like, no, I want this one card. Do I want that card? If I, am I going to give up that card to just get these little ones? So there's one specific one I really, really want. And I'm doing a really good job so far of not buying stuff. So I'm trying to like set it up. So I'm like, okay, this amount of time, after that amount of time, I get that card. Okay, anyways. This is one step closer to the Braves run there. I think I, I've still got... Uh, I guess the two bigger ones would be like the Smoltz and Glavin. But I think I'm pretty well pretty pretty well getting close to there. And I'm probably gonna like after I get that specific Maddox card, I think I may use some of my Com C funds and shuffle around and see if I can pick those up. But anyways, onwards to the next one. So I'm gonna take these down because the next one I have not looked at. I knew this one was coming in because he I talked to him about it. Kind of right away and super awesome again thank you alan i appreciate it and good luck to people spelling your name right i don't know that's just the burden we have to bear 
All right, but the next one is from Jason over at Basement Card Collector. And that was kind of the reference at the beginning here. So this is a huge package here. And I don't know what it is. And I opened it up at the end here, and I'm going to do an unboxing video. Just like all the cool kids. All right, so what do we got here? Let's see if we got kind of reaching in without looking. So, yes, we do have this. All right. Alan, I wanted to send you a few things that I think would be good for your Braves collection. This is part one. Oh, so he said we kind of made a trade for the 19, it's a kind of background. We made a trade for the 1989 to finish off my set. So, again, thank you for that. This is just like bonus stuff. I don't know. Stuff I did not expect. And then, really, really cool. Uh, I can already kind of see what's going on here. Oh, yeah. We have the Stadium Club still in the pack. I actually have two of these, but this will make a third. Nice. And I actually have this on, I have it, have this in my binder. I have two of these. So as you can see, I really do like these. Um, I've got two of the, um, the Rangers as well, which I'm also never going to get rid of. And my Yankees one of this is so yellow. Anyways, I really like these team sets. Really, really cool. I'm going to keep it in there. It's never coming out. All right, should we just dump out the rest and, ooh. Man, I love looking through old, I think these are old Beckett's. Pretty cool. So we have May 1993. Really, really cool of Greg Maddox there. Who's on the back? Ooh, nice. George Brett. There's always the picture. Oh yeah, there we go. How did you give that up, man? That is a pretty sweet picture. I feel bad for taking this one now. I always like those arts art that they have in there. Okay, anyways. Oh, I'm knocking stuff all over the place. Good thing they're in graded holders, right? Yes. And then we got Tom Glavin over on November 1992. I love Mike Mussina. I've got a couple things out to him right now because he's such an awesome, like, TTMer. Sweet Jim Rice. Oh, Carlton Fisk, too? Man. I love those. The one the one that I always really like looking at. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, we won't have it in here, will we? Oh, no, it says 1992. Um, I'll bring over the 1993 here. I just love looking at the, uh, the Jeter card and being like, does anybody want to sell me that card for this price for the uh, SP? Let's see if we got it in here. I don't think they have it in here. This must have been, the SP must have been later than this. Because I do not see it in here. Oh well, plan failed. Anyways, onward to the next thing. So we got Don Mattingly on the back. And, ooh, nice. Fred McGriff on the front. So November... 1993. So this one should have it, is my thought. Sorry, we gotta look at the pictures first. Ooh, Will Clark. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. This was, like, one of my favorite sets. This, um, the studio. That was so awesome. You can get it for, like, I don't know, the whole set for maybe ten bucks. But it's such a cool looking set. Like, it's one of, one of the top sets of all time. Come on, SP, are you in here? Man, if I could remember my alphabet here. This is this is great stuff right here. This this like looking at this is this is pure gold content right here. Alright, anyways, it's not in there. Okay. So it's I'm really fit I'm 0 for 2 here. I'm 0 for 3 here, sort of. But alright, we got Roberto Almar on the back. Ooh, and nice Steve Avery. That's May 1992. Not the front. Hojo. Oh, that's a sweet Ted Williams picture. I 
I feel like with so many of these, I just want to cut these out, but I don't want to like ruin the Beckett's. There's so many of these that are like, they have such cool pictures in them. But yeah, there's just some cool stuff. I, I love looking through old Beckett's. I wonder what the, so this one's kind of earlier, back in 92. There we go, 68. So we got the Johnny Bench rookie for $300 at the max, and the Ryan is at about 1,500. Okay. And then 1,000 at the bottom. Okay, so that's, that's not too bad. It's not like I need a time, I need a time machine prior to that. I think it's like, for the Ryan rookie, I feel like it's probably the 80s, and then you're probably pretty good. Like anywhere but 80s and prior, I feel like you're pretty good. And then, let's see if we can find the, there's the Ricky Henderson, whoo, 90 to $150. I mean, this was peak Ricky Henderson, though. 1992? Whew, yeah. But yeah, these are super cool. Love them. So much Brave stuff today. That's awesome. I don't know how I'm going to display these. I've, I've got to figure out a good way of displaying these. Right now I have a bunch of, like, I have, like, a binder full of them, but this plus kind of my last episode with that uh, scorecard, I really want to display them because I feel like they are very good display pieces. But yeah, so these and that and this. A bunch of fun mail day. It's a really cool mail day. Very happy. Everybody, thank you. I appreciate it. This is so cool. So we got uh, Alan over at Boston Van. Definitely go check him out. And then Jason, thank you again, man. I'm glad I finally got here. I know it took a little while to get through the mail. But, you know, sometimes that happens. The problems of being... Going through the mail, I guess. But it's usually pretty reliable. So, yeah, really cool. All right. Thank you again, everybody, for watching. Hopefully you liked it. Definitely go check out the other two channels. And have a great, awesome day. I'm off to the Braves and Cubs game. Peace out.